Article number nine, municipal buildings, critical needs. Move that the town appropriate a sum of $405,000 to pay the cost of remodeling, reconstruction, and make extraordinary repairs of municipal buildings as per the following estimates. Town hall asbestos abatement, $100,000. Town hall roof, $65,000. Public safety complex roof, $150,000. Department of Public Works roof, $90,000. Included in the payment of all the costs incidental and related thereto, and that we meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, is authorized to borrow said amount and issue bonds or notes of the town, therefore under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 73A of the Mass General Laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority provided, however, that the vote undertaken, that the vote taken here under shall be expressly contingent upon the approval of the voters to exclude the amount of pay for the bonds or notes authorized by this vote from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half, so-called. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Second. Motioned and seconded. Again, the last line of that means that regardless of any vote that we have this evening, this will go to a two and a half override, but not regardless. If approved this evening, this will go to a two and a half override vote. Mr. Kopak. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first article addressing the um, critical needs of the municipal buildings identified by the Municipal Buildings Committee. This first, Article Number 9, is a debt exclusion article, and the committee has recommended repairs on several long-term, high-value critical needs for the town's buildings. These projects include replacing three asphalt roofs and removing asbestos tile flooring and some additional asbestos abatement. The roofs in question are at the end of their expect life expectancy, are deteriorating or are beginning to fail on the town hall, Department of Public Works, and the public safety complex. For those of you who've had a chance to look at some of the articles or the handouts, you can see down in the, the photos at the bottom, uh, those circles actually represent areas where the roofs have actually failed or the shingles are, um, are missing. The recommendation is to strip and replace the roof for the standing seam, metal roof with snow guards where appropriate. The tile flooring is on both levels of the town hall. After identifying over 35 critical needs that affect our seven buildings, these four issues were identified by the select board and capital planning as items that should be funded via debt exclusion. These projects are significant in scope and longevity and therefore are recommended to be funded using long-term borrowing. We hope you support this article. Just a second, I have a point of order uh, on the last article, article number eight, the article passed unanimously. I'm sorry. Okay, Edwin Matuska, 116 Stockbridge Street. Uh, first off, uh, what is on the public safety complex roof now is an asphalt shingle roof, correct? Now, that has dormers and gables, and it's got a lot of angles on it. Now, that roof was designed for an asphalt shingle roof. So, Will we be creating additional problems by putting a metal roof on it on a roof that was designed for asphalt shingles with all the valleys and hip roofs and gables and so forth? I'll, I'll try to answer that for you. I'm Tim Nyhart, building commissioner in town. Um, primary reason we're going and recommending metal roofs is because of the longevity of them. Um, asphalt roofs these days don't have the asbestos in them. They are not lasting the time frames that they used to last. That roof is 20 years old and it, it would, should have been removed and replaced five years ago. The, the decking on that is a, a plywood deck Standing seams are permitted, and that is a good base for a standing seam roof. You put on a specialized um, underlayment product, and you go right over that. It's a very, very good product, and the life expectancy, depending on which 
um, standing seam product you get is between 50 to 100 years. That I have no doubt. But uh, asphalt shingles, when you get snow, it kind of melts and goes away slowly. Metal roofs come sliding off pretty fast. And if it comes sliding off one part of a roof and hits a hip or a valley, it, it's going to create an issue. Has that been considered? You know, you just can't put metal on every single roof just because you want to. It's, the roof has to be designed for metal. That much I know. And a lot of times, there's not a problem. And I, what I'm concerned is, slapping a metal roof on this building and then coming back in a few years saying, uh-oh, we have a problem now that we need to fix. Has anyone looked at to make sure that there, that won't be a problem? Uh, it is not a problem anymore. The metal roofs um, are made to replace all, almost all types of uh, shingled roofs. Uh, as far as the snow is, uh, they used to have these little tabs that they put on. They didn't work. You'll see bars across almost the entire length, and you'll you'll uh, put multiple uh, layers of those on. That stops the snow from sliding off. Uh, a lot of I myself have gone to a metal roof uh, because of longevity. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a good slope on mine. I have seven um, dormers on my house. And there's no problem anymore putting a metal roof on a, on a structure that has multiple um, dormers, valleys, and there is no problem of the sliding right off. You actually have more of a problem on a roof like you have over at the elementary school. The rubberized or the EPM roofs, it gets going and slides off quickly. But uh, the metal roofs, no. If you have the proper uh, snow guards on, which are the bars in multiple sections, it won't come off like that. Okay, you're on camera and we're going to hold you to that. The other thing is when it comes time for town hall asbestos, now those tiles, the reason why they're there because of asbestos wears very well, but later on we found out that it's not that good for health. Now has there been an issue where there's been tiles coming up or has it just been a lack of maintenance where the tiles weren't maintained and as long as the product is sealed it's not an issue or is this just a precautionary thing everybody sees the word asbestos and they just want to get rid of it no, unfortunately right now if you go into uh, the town hall in specific areas especially the high traffic areas, the hallways, and under the desks, uh, especially where the chairs are. Uh, it's all cracked up. There is serious er areas that have, have, have gone and dilapidated and are starting to um, uh, fracture, meaning it's, it's going through the different layers right now. Uh, we're recommending that because it's going to, it is at its life expectancy, unfortunately, in a lot of those areas. The one other major problem is every single time that you have to drill into that, you have an issue. Uh, we want to try to get rid of, rid of them. We don't have any potential health issues later on, and, but there are severe problems with uh, a lot of those areas. And we do need to uh, address it. It's been talked about for quite some time. Two further points of interest. Uh, Select more Chungla would ask me to point out the fact that the total borrowing impact on taxes for an average single family residence at the annual cost would be $15.81. Also, the Select Board recommendation is 401, and the Finance Committee supported unanimously. My question is to Tim. Tim, on a standard steam uh, metal, that can adapt to uh, uh, solar panels without penetration to the roof, as if it was shingles, 
then you would have to penetrate the brackets through the roof that would ultimately possibly leak after. Is that true or is that not true? That is very true. That's a good point, John. Um, anybody, and there's a lot of people that, that go through the uh, possibility of putting a solar onto their houses are actually changing at the time of solar uh, installation over to a standing seam roof. It is true because it's a clamping method, you're not penetrating the roof, and it's much, much easier to remove at the time of life expectancy of the solar. So that is one great advantage about a um, standing seam roof. And you will be seeing a lot of people that uh, are putting solar on actually uh, going over to a, a, a metal roof. Ginger Goldsbury, 245 River Drive, and I'm actually here representing the Historical Commission. Um, this Historical Commission truly supports the efforts of the, of the histor uh, that the building committee is trying, building the, uh, whatever you're called, building, the building committees, committees yes, um, to, to preserve the, the buildings in North in Hadley. But it's the historic town hall that we're concerned about, and a standing seam roof is far from um, even close to looking historically accurate. So it is, it's important for us that the roof that's chosen would maintain the historical integrity of the historic town hall. And by doing that, um, it's very possible that instead of using taxpayers, additional taxpayers' money, that we can use CPA funds to do that. One of the reasons we uh, decided to go metal, there were several reasons. Uh, one, quite honestly, nobody can see the roof because it's so far up. Uh, two, the, all the surrounding buildings have metal roofs on them right now, seeing and seen, or it's some type of metal roof. That's the farm museum, the church next door, and the uh, front section of the senior center. Um, it's a two, two, I don't know what, what is the significant roof that was there on the original roof? It could not be slate because it's too shallow. Probably, was it tin? Uh, I, I wasn't here then, but... Uh, <laughs> Nor were we. <laughs> so, but I think the, the, the point is that the roof will, will be designed so that it man maintains the historical integrity of the building. And that doesn't mean that it means is made of something that was used in the 1800s. I mean, let's not be ridiculous, but it has to look good. That's my point. David, did you want to? I think that I would uh, speak for the committee when I, I'd say that um, our, our committee would work with the Historical Commission to get an appropriate roof on, on that building. Um, I, I think the vote tonight would be for a metal roof, which I believe would be the most expensive of all roof options that we would choose, uh, except slate, which I don't think is realistic. But 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 our committee is willing to work with the historic commission to get the appropriate detail into that building. But if we vote for this and then decide that the, the roof is um, eligible for using CPA funds, then what? Because I would rather not pay twice. I mean, you're already taking 3% of my money for CPA funds. If we can use it, I would rather do that personally. Well, we, as you know, we have gone to CPA uh, and requested the money for the roofs, and we were denied. Right, but we also know that that was a process that can be changed. But you didn't use the right language. Let's not talk about that. Ms. Goldberg? Uh, in the verbiage that we have in the um, motion, Goldsbury. Ms. Goldsberg, in the verbiage that we have in front of us, uh, it also allows us to uh, fold in CPA money if it qualifies for that. Any other enabling authority? Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, John Michkowski, I certainly uh, support this for the reason that that town hall is is a real uh, flat flat type roof. And when you drive by it walk, or walk by it, you can't see the, the roof whatsoever. And yet the church right next door is a stand and seam uh, metal roof. And nobody says nothing about that. And I think it's 
an advantage for the town to do this and, and preserve and protect that. You, you, it does need a new roof. Any other further discussion? Tom Woods, South Maple Street. I'm just curious about these prices. Did you get someone come in and give you an estimate? Now, is the estimate going to go up or down when you get a contract written on these estimates? Like this red um, asbestos removal. Someone's going to come in and now that it's up to 100000 are you going to want more or less? That, that was a contractor quote. I can say that all of the... You got more than one contract price, I take it? In that particular case, there was there was one quote How about for the, the rest of the roofs? The roof. Seems like a lot of money for, say, the town hall is straight going. The roof was, I believe, one additional quote for the roof for a package deal for all three of the buildings that were uh, on, on the article. Deal. That's right. Uh, Edwin Matusko again. Also in this article, there was mention of Con, uh, a consultant to advise the committee on what's what's to be done. Am I correct? That's a future article on the agenda. That tonight. is not in this article. Thank you. Mr. Moderator, I call the question. I'm sorry, she was heading for the. Please. Marjorie Townsend, 18 Mount Warner Road. I just noticed that the roof estimate for the safety complex is more than any of the others. It's also by far the newest roof of all of those. And I was wondering if there was any guarantee that was not met on the, on the length of time that roof was supposed to be put on by the original contractors. That's an asphalt roof on the public safety complex that's uh, gone to its, uh, you know, its, its mature life. It, it's, uh, it's not worn out prematurely. So it, uh, the safety complex is 20 years old now? Yeah. More than. Okay, I wasn't here then, thank you. Sir. Mr. Moderator, I call the question. Question has been called. Second. We've now like seconded. We'd now like to vote now on calling the question. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed, motion passes unanimously. We will now vote on the article in front of us. This is a two-thirds majority in order to pass this. I've asked for counters of the uh, Mother's Club. Uh, should I need the counters if the four of you that have been appointed could help us? We're going to call for it first and then question afterwards. All those in favor of article number nine, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimous minus one.